Welcome back to The Rundown. Well, it's one of the most ambitious projects ever undertaken by the Jewish National Fund, the JNF. The construction and operation of what's been called a World Zionist Village. That's going to be a special new campus aiming to bring together Jews from abroad and here as well to engage in constructive dialogue and discourse with the goal of evolutionizing Zionist and Jewish education, maybe hopefully creating a laboratory for developing new modes of Jewish leadership suitable for the 21st century. Well, fittingly, the project is taking shape in the southern city of Beersheba, fulfilling the role David Ben-Gurion and otherwise others saw in utilizing the Negev Desert as a foundry for forging some Zionist commitment. Well, joining us in studio is Boaz Meir, International Development Director at the World Zionist Village. I should also add Boaz JNF making the desert bloom. The old ways with the trees, this is kind of a new way uh, with human resources. But tell us about this World Zionist Village. So the World Zionist Village is going to be uh, one of our initiative to speak about Zionism. We speak about what is it, what does it mean to be a Zionist? For example, when you are living in the United States, you have a certain vision of what Zionism is. And when you live in Israel, you have a different way of looking at it. And it seems like among many people who are active in the Jewish community, that the word Zionism is like something which people don't really understand anymore what it is. 1901, Theodore Herzl had a vision and he was all about, you know, let's form a state, that was Zionism. Today, Zionism, everybody looks at it differently and it's kind of fading away from us. And we need to do something in order to be able to recapture what Zionism is. The first step would be a conversation. Let's have a conversation about Zionism. So the World Zionist Village is going to be an expansion, a second campus for the Alexander Mass High School in Israel. So for those that don't know, this has been around for 50 years. It has over 40,000 alumni, which most of them are active and Zionist and care about Judaism, care about Israel. It's a well it's known and successful right. formula to what Zionism is. So we are going to expand it. But in addition to it, since even after the expansion, we're only going to have about 5,000 teenagers there. We're going to have also a lot more in the Zionist village in terms of gap year programs for the Americans. We're going to have mechinot uh, pre-military for the Israelis. We're going to have internship uh, facilities for people to come after, after college. It's going to be an a ecosystem where we can recapture you know, you know, the world. You know, boys, there's always been, I've, for many years, and I've been involved in some Zionist activities, talk about why isn't there some kind of if program institution to follow up on those that bring teenagers here that some of you mentioned. There's been talk, why not, an, for example, an American or English-speaking university here? And some of the universities have rushed, has tried to start to fill that gap in recent years, like, for example, the Reichman University. But this sounds like fulfilling that original intent that people have been talking about. Exactly. And we are certain that this will create a whole new conversation in which people will be recapturing what Zionists what does it mean for them right, to which be is, uh, in many ways a, at a pejorative word uh, that you hear a lot unfortunately in, in discourse in the media as well I would have to Correct. say. Correct. You know I have I have a son in, in the United States. He's 14 years old, Tomer. He's probably looking right now. I will say hi Tomer because he has COVID so we wish him well but, but the point is that Tomer, and just like many other teenagers, care about Israel, but they don't know how to word what it is that they care about their heritage and about their being Zionist. And we are convinced that together we put together a wonderful plan where we have also some of the top leaders in the Jewish world. We have Rabbi Wolf from Los Angeles. We have Daniel Hartman. We have Professor Stein from Emory University, they're all part of the planning of it in order to make sure that this is a Zionist village for everyone, because the more people that will be involved in it, these would be our future leaders. And that's what the World Zionist Village can bring to right, the table. Right, some, just some practical questions, Was when, when actually is this uh, plan to uh, uh, be completed so it's, it's a start operating? Fantastic, that's a really good question. So we are planning for it to be completed within five years. We want to uh, open the doors in 2027. 
We are going to uh, start construction, hopefully, at the beginning of 2024, and within three to four years, we, we expect this to be completed and Right, open. and talk about just situating it in Beersheba. As I said, itself has some significance uh, in terms of Zionist ideology. Correct. So obviously, you know, we have been putting a lot of efforts. We had the roadmap, the billion-dollar roadmap for the last nine and a half years to develop the Negev and the Galil. It has to be in the Negev. The Negev is where we are, where Zionism is right now. And we want to make sure that those students are connected to, to Beersheba, which is a, a magnificent town right now. It has cyber center. It has a great university. It has employment opportunities. We want the Zionist village to be mingled within the city of Beersheba, which is the gateway to the Negev. Well, I'll just say, in the Jew Jewish history, new visions usually come out of the desert, you might say. Correct. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. So, so good luck on the World Zionist Village. Uh, Boaz Mayor uh, from the JNF. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.